Hi, I'm Johnny Benjamin and I'm from London. I'm 26. When I was 20, I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, which is a combination of schizophrenia and depression. My mental health problems began when I was 10 years old. At that age, I started to hear a voice in my head and I also believed that I was being followed everywhere that I went by cameras. The voice I was hearing in my head was more of a commentary and I actually thought that it was an angel that had been sent down from heaven. And for the first few years that that was happening, it was okay, I could deal with it. And then when I turned 16, that voice changed and it became more of a devil. And it began to really torment me and it would challenge me to do certain things. So I might have to um, move an object from one place to the other. Otherwise, I'd be punished. And I, I thought this voice had complete control over me and I was scared by it. At the age of 16, I started to feel really depressed and I began having thoughts that were um, quite suicidal in nature. And I began to think that actually, maybe life wasn't worth living anymore. But all this time I kept it to myself. I was just really scared about talking about these things with anyone around me. I had no concept of mental health anyway. Um, I, I had no idea that I was going through a mental health issue. And then when I turned 17, it just all got too much and I confided in my best friend about my mental health issues. And he was very concerned. And he said to me, well, let's go and talk to the GP and see what the GP says. Because I was feeling very low constantly and I was crying a lot and um, I, I just wasn't feeling myself and he could see this. So we went to the GP and the GP was great that I saw. The GP referred me straight away to CAMS, to the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service. Things didn't go so well with CAMS. Um, they promised me regular appointments but then I didn't hear from them for months. I just said to myself, that's it. I'm gonna just manage my mental health on my own. I can do it, I'll be fine. I was going off to university and I thought that that would be the cure to what was going on in my head. I thought that would be the answer and all my mental health problems would just end. And when I got to uni, I uh, found my mental health just got worse. And I began to get even more low. And the voice in my head was just getting worse. And I saw different GPs when I was at university and I was put on lots of different antidepressants. I still wasn't talking to family or friends about what was going on in my head. So things were just getting worse and worse. And then when I was 20 years old, I um, reached the point of mental health crisis and I had a psychosis where I believed I was being completely taken over by the devil, my body as well. And um, one night I went onto the streets and I just completely lost control and I was um, shouting and screaming at people and I went onto the dual carriageway that was near my house. I just started walking down it and I just felt like I could control anything I was doing, anything I was saying. It was very scary, very scary. And I felt very suicidal as well. At that point, I was taken to A&E. And when I got to A&E, I saw a psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist said that there wasn't much that could be done because there wasn't any mental health beds available. And it was, it was really disappointing because I felt at that point I really needed some serious help. I felt I wasn't safe by myself. Luckily, at that point, I told my university friends about what was going on. My university friends were great, they were really supportive, and they said that they'd help me through it. They knew that I needed to get help, and so I went home for the Christmas holidays. There I saw uh, my family GP. My family GP uh, admitted me to a psychiatric unit. There I was diagnosed with um, schizophrenia and depression which combined is classed as schizoaffective disorder. I spent the next six weeks in a psychiatric unit. It, w it, was, it was very scary at first, especially being diagnosed with schizophrenia, I was absolutely terrified and I couldn't really comprehend it. 
eventually um, I did begin to um, get better um, I had different therapy to learn how to manage my mental health yeah I, I left hospital six weeks later and um, it took a while but I went on to make a recovery from that episode life is much better now I've learned to manage my mental health issues and I still go through bad periods but overall I keep positive and on top of things.